Now in this video, we'll look at a psychrometric process which we call humidification and dehumidification. Well, the humidification means that at same dBT, we're increasing the specific humidity of the air sample. And dehumidification means again at the same dBT, you are decreasing the SH of the air sample. So let us say you are over here with this as your dBT. So you increase, this is SH1, so you increase this to 2. And you can see that this is equal to TD2, but you have gained some moisture. So this is SH2. So this is humidification. On the other hand, if I am at, let us say, state 1 is over here, and I am coming down to state 2 over here at same dBT, but my SH has gone down. So this is dehumidification. Okay. Now there are two, three uh, more aspects to it. Sometimes we do a combination of heating or cooling with dehumidification and humidification. So let's have a look at the first process that is heating, heating with humidification. Okay. So now you have to heat it and you also have to humidify it. Means heating means that the dry bulb temperature has to go up and humidification means that the specific uh, you can say humidity has to go up. So let me redraw this uh, chart space. So you will be having a chart like this. Okay, so you are over here. One, you need to increase your dBT first of all. Let us say you come over here and then you have to humidify it. So the final point is over here. So this is the line which indicates that you have heated it and you have also humidified it. Okay. On the other hand, the second process is cooling, cooling with humidification, humidification. Okay. Now in this process, if I, uh, you know, uh, look at this process, the SH1 is here and this is SH2. So you can see that the moisture content has gone up. Now in this kind of a process, if I draw it over here only, so this is, uh, let us say the state, state A, you have to cool it, means the dBT has to go down. So this is where you will come and then, then you will have to humidify it. So this is where you will go. So the final is this, so this is how your process would look like AB. So you can see that the dBT, so this is TDA and this is TDB, so dBT has gone down but the specific humidity has gone up. Okay, so this is cooling with uh, humidification. Now the reverse of this is heating with dehumidification. So the third is heating with dehumidification. Now like we looked at the heating process with the humidification, the same we will do for dehumidification means we have to heat it, the dVT has to increase and dehumidification means the SH has to go down. So let me draw it over here. Okay, so we will first of all heat a sample. So this is how you do it. So this is state 1. You heat it, so the dBT will increase. And now you dehumidify it. So this would be your final state, 1 to 2. So now what have you done? You have increased your dBT from TD1 to TD2. But on the same hand you have decreased 
your specific humidity from SH1 to SH2. Okay, so this is what the third process is all about. Now, the fourth one is cooling with dehumidification. Okay, I'll put this on the chart as well. So, this is how it will look. Okay, now you have to cool it, means the dBT has to go down. So, first of all, cool it. So, let us say this is where you come upon cooling it, and now you have to dehumidify it. So, this is where your position would be. So, this is state 1 and this is state 2. So, now you are dry bulb temperature has decreased and so is your specific humidity. Okay, so this is what you need to understand in this video on the concept of humidification and dehumidification. Whenever you have to indicate a process, always start by increasing the temperature and then uh, you know changing the uh, you can say specific humidity value. So, I hope you understood all these processes. Now, let us go to the next process that is the mixing of two air streams.